When an ACS wants to learn what objects exist on a CPE and what parameters they support, it can use the Get Parameter Names RPC. Like other RPCs, Get Parameter Names makes use of the Parameter Paths argument, so let's take a minute to understand Parameter Paths. All of the objects and parameters in a CWMP endpoints data model are addressed by a parameter path. A parameter path includes objects, sub-objects, identifiers for multi-instance objects, and the parameters of those objects. When referencing a parameter path, an ACS can use a complete path or a partial path. A complete path ends with a specific parameter that is needed to be addressed. A partial path ends with a dot after an object and is used to reference all of the sub-objects and parameters beneath the referenced object. Let's take this back to get parameter names. The get parameter names RPC takes two arguments. The first is a parameter path, like we just talked about. This is only a single parameter path, unlike get parameter values, but we'll talk about that later. The second argument is next level, which can take a value of true or false. This argument specifies whether the ACS wants all sub-objects and parameters returned, or only the next level of parameters returned. Obviously, this only applies when a partial parameter path is specified. Let's take a simple object like device info as an example. If the ACS was interested in learning about the existence of just the model name parameter, it could use a complete path, in this case device.deviceinfo.modelName. If it wanted to know all of the parameters only in the device info object, it would specify a partial path of device.deviceinfo. and set the next level argument to true. The endpoint would then return only those parameters of the device info object. If it wanted to know about all of the objects and parameters in the entire device info object, it would specify a partial path of device.deviceinfo. and set the next level argument to false. The endpoint would then return the entire tree of subobjects and their parameters. The get parameter names response from the CPE contains a parameter list argument containing an array of type parameter info struct. Each entry in the array contains the full path name of the parameter to be returned, and a second boolean that indicates whether or not the parameter is writable. Usually, this correlates with the access type specified in the CWMP data model.